hey folks welcome back to another video and today i want to do something a bit different in terms of style or genre i want to give some basic advice on how to approach styles like uh, cyberpunk or dark techno or something like prodigy does or did in the 90s uh, maybe also dubstep i don't know so you can use this in all kinds of different genres but it's always kind of the same idea uh, that you use raw and basic sounds and use a lot of distortion. So here we create just a subtractive synthesizer, very basic one, polymer, right? Uh, we can use here a saw with the wavetable. We don't need this and this. We also uh, use here monophonic or just one voice. And we go down to, let's say, 100 ppm. If you want to do something like cyberpunk music or dark techno, I don't know how it's called really. There's many names. Um, so you go in here and create some kind of note and you just go for one note, usually something low here like F or E or F sharp, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you know, in this region here, it's the best way um, for bass notes. And then we, uh, let's say we put here on the master a peak limiter. Um, just to make sure. Okay, so we create just some 16 notes, or maybe let's do two, and then the third one, and the third one goes one, um, uh, one octave higher. And we get this kind of triplet, or yeah, yeah, this kind of triplet feel. It sounds like this. And you can hear this in all kinds of cyberpunk or dark techno songs, this kind of pattern, it's always repeated. And you don't usually use a scale in these kind of genres. You use the chromatic scale, uh, which means you can just go from one note to the next note or use a lot of half steps. So this one here is exactly the same note. And all we use now is basically one note lower or one note up, one half step, right? It's not really a scale in these kind of terms so you can do this and then you go maybe down you go up you stay you go down something very basic right and then you have basically already this kind of pattern um, then we use here lp2 and that's important in my opinion because it just cuts some top end away from the saw but it leaves a lot of stuff still there that you can distort then and then in the fx box here we're going to use at least that's what i do is i use filter plus and no filter and here for the distortion device i use this diode uh, classic circuit model used for biasing and clipping because you can not only hard clip here you can also just use asynchron um, distortion which sounds kind of nice and then you go with this into that then you use a lot of resonance probably or you dial it into your taste you can also make acid with this <laughs> if you want to do more like acid music get also this type of sound here or sometimes uh, for um what's the name synth wave we have these longer oh we can also go down i think once one octave lower we need more distortion you can already hear you can already hear how it sounds right it's just typical uh, cyberpunk sound minus three. Okay, let's join us here. At the end, maybe we go one up here. Also interesting could be here on this distorted signal, you put a bit eight. 
and reduce just here the bitrate. <laughs> Or you try it before. Ah, it's too. It's too uh, noisy. Right, and with this you can then play around and add some drums. And most of the times I go for dubstep sounds. They fit very well. Something like this. And some kind of rides. Uh, maybe go for this here. Let's try this one out. Very simple pattern. Okay, let's bring a bit of reverb in there. And on that, we use a leveler here. And we can bring in a EQ5 before that. to unison but we dial down the spread to zero so everything has a different sound right it's the unison setting or if you just use a single uh, wave shape it all you know, changes the sound a little bit in one or the other di direction. Um, you can also use a step mod here. Um, eight notes, maybe. Just a small, small pattern here to change this. <laughs> the step mod here for the resonance. So when you have this down, uh, you can then go to another synthesizer and bring in some tops. And you more or less do the same thing here. Uh, so we are on 
F hier. Maybe do another trick. Okay, I'll go to Rionison, make this a bit wider. And we bring this up one octave. And also here you can bring in a bit 8. Just simulate an 8-bit computer. Also important is probably here then, let's drag this out, beat us MIDI, bam, so we can disable this, this, now we use it just as MIDI, then we separate here the kicks from all the kick only. Um, this is just your note filter from C1 to C1 because the kick drum is always on C1. So we get here the note informations only from the kick, not from the snare and the, hi and the hi hats. You can see this here, right? And then we can receive this here with the tool and side chain, note side chain. And then we can select your XO kick only note filter and you can put this also here on this lead sound so this is something good too. You can also yeah, go for some ARP sound. play around with filters and stuff like this but you can see it's very easy to create these kind of cyberpunk sounds here uh, with the basic synthesizer with a bit of saw and a bit unison and then here this uh, diode or uh, diode um, distortion transfer curve a bit of bit 8 bit reduction and it already sounds yeah um, very nice so um, yeah, these are my general tips, how I approach these type of sounds with these chromatic scales and with distortion and with basic sounds. And um, I think it's already a good starting point. Um, I guess I put this also here on my Patreon if you want to download this. Um, and maybe I'll do some more tutorials for more ideas around these kind of styles. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a subscription. See you in the next video. Bye.